You waited all year long and the time has finally come for the Brockton Fair to return to the City of Champions. This year marks the 137th return to Brockton. Many generations have enjoyed the excitement and thrills of a fun-filled day at the Brockton Fair. There's so much to do. Where do I begin? The late afternoon sun melts away the summer days. What better way to spend your summer evening than at the Brockton Fair with all the nostalgic glory? The food vendor's non-stop supply of deep-fried sweet and salted delights will leave you checking your blood pressure the next morning. Walk around and witness the noise and excitement of all the people enjoying themselves. From competitive game players, adrenaline junkies, or families just looking for a place to let loose. If you made it to this year's Brockton Fair, you know how hard it is to contain all the pep and excitement. Yosef Hassim, who lives in Bridgewater, has been working with his family at the Brockton Fair since he was born. Yosef spoke about dishing out those staple foods of Americana that the Brockton Fair represents. Brockton Fair, let's talk about when you're walking to the Brockton Fair, you do your thing. What, what's a day in the life like for you working work at the fair? A day in the life working at the fair is, it's honestly, it's pretty stressful because everybody's expecting you to know what they need to do because it's not that easy. We get in here, we open up, start out everything slow because if you try to rush, you just, it's too much to think about. When I get here, I unlock all the trailers, pull out everything, open up all the trailers, hang up corner signs, little details that actually bring out the actual life of the fair. Then um, I go and open up my specific trailer, fried dough, down over by the grandstand. It's the favorite part of the fair though. I mean, there's gotta be some, some fun parts with just some downtime. The fun parts is, is honestly seeing all the different people. You meet different different kinds of people at the fair, you know? It's, it's nothing that everybody gets to see daily. You know, everybody else will just go to their normal jobs, go work in an office, something like that. It's, it's pretty cool to say that you work at a fair. What separates the Brockton Fair from, let's say, you know, Six Flags or Canopy Lake? Well, what makes the Brockton Fair special? It's the people that are here, the people that you that you get to enjoy the time with. You know, it's it's not like we're just hiring random people off the streets. We're hiring our friends and stuff. So we're, it's all a good time. It really is. It's fun. The circus was also a part of this year's exciting entertainment. Jason Walker, who is a fifth generation circus performer and ringleader of the Walker Brothers Circus, gave us some insight on how ordinary circus performers really are. Jason, ringmaster for the circus. Yep, I'm the ringmaster, the host of the circus, I guess. Now talk about when you go into the fair, what, what, what's, what's the day in the life like for you? A day in the life in the fair for, for, for the circus, uh, you know, we don't do much in the daytime until the fair starts, until it's showtime, you know. So um, it would be a normal day for us, you know, we do laundry or go to the grocery store or the market or do what we gotta do. And uh, when it comes showtime, that's when we change and we put our faces on and put our wardrobe on and it's showtime, you know, which we love to do, so it's pretty wonderful. Talk about showtime, what type of thrill do you get, you know, performing against? performing for people. Just talk about that thrill well, that you get. it's that excitement of being in front of a crowd. You know, there's nothing like being in front of a live audience. Um, I love it. I love every second of it. And uh, when you love it, the people can tell, the audience can tell. So they enjoy the show more, you know, so it's win-win. What's like your specific job? What, what do you do? At I introduce work? each act. Um, each act has a, usually a feature trick that they do mm -hmm. towards the end of their act usually uh, requires an announcement for that, you know, to kind of set the, the stage and the tone for the entire show. I really, you know, if I'm excited, the people are excited. So it's up to me to keep the show rolling smooth. Now talk about the different shows that, um, that, that people are going to see at the circus. Whoa, well, they're going to see, uh, we, have, we have performers from actually all over the globe. We have, uh, we have a fire eater this year in particular from uh, Cape Town, South Africa. Hmm. And uh, we have uh, a family from Peru, a young girl that does contortions. She's really amazing. She's actually the, uh, the high point of the show is the young girl, the contortion girl. We have aerialists, of course, clowns, animals. Uh, it's a really traditional uh, little circus. Talk about the difference between a, a fair like this as opposed to a music park. Is a fair more, more of a 
tight knit community. Oh yeah, the the people at the well, people at amusement parks go go home after they're done working. You know, we we don't leave each other. You know, we stay each other uh, all day. We give each other rides to the store, the market, like I said, the laundromat. So uh, um, we're more of a family. We're really tight. You know, it has to be like a family, and we have to get along for as long as we travel together. You know? Is it tough to have that same amount of energy every single time you come out? I mean, do, do you have, to have the, what now? They have the same amount of energy every every day, you know, performing. I mean, there's one day, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm kind of tired. I'm not feeling it today. Is it tough to sustain that energy when you have a whole new group of people every day? Oh, sure, sure. And sometimes the crowd isn't in the mood too. You know, the energy of the crowd is uh, is low. You know, but that's where your professionalism, you know, comes in. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life, or uh, you know, if you you know, have your truck in the garage, you know, or your trailer, the water don't work or something. Those people don't know about that. All they know is they paid to see a show. What's your favorite part of, of the Brockton Fair? The fair in general. Of the Brockton Fair? Yeah. Uh, the food. <laughs> There's every kind of food. I've, I've spent a lot of money on food here, but it's been worth it. I, I love fair food. It's the best, you know. I get anything I want, any craving I have, I can get it here. Just walk around the corner and it's right there, you know. Any final thoughts? Um, just, uh, I, you know, if the people come to the, to the fair, they're going to get a wonderful time, you know, they're going to get their money's worth and they're going to get our, you know, our free circus, uh, which is, uh, you know, it's a piece of history, you know, it's one of America's oldest forms of family entertainment and um, they get to see it for free. George Carney has owned and maintained the land for 50 years that the Brockton Fair calls home. When North Main asks George who he does it all for. Well, people come here that don't have a lot of money to go on away on a vacation. That's basically what the, the makeup of our customers are. And those are the kind of people I want to cater to. That's the kind of a place that we operate. We keep the prices low. We keep the price of the food. We keep the price of the entertainment. Like last night, we had ride all night for $10. There was thousands of people here. Matter of fact, we were scheduled to close at 11 o'clock. And I had the, the ride operator stay until 12.30. It was just unbelievable. I have, we had a crowd like that on a, a night after a holiday in 20 years. There's a lot of work involved in making the fair run smoothly. From all vendors to the people who come out and have memorable times with family and friends. People who come to the Brockton Fair know why it's special. The Brockton Fair is a piece of Brockton history which will continue to build memories for all who attend.